Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all come over. Y'all come over. Y'all got any questions? Y'all, y'all come over. How y'all doing? Y'all, y'all believe in God, right? Y'all believe in God? Oakwood Chapel Church. What do y'all teach over there? Y'all, y'all teach uh, to follow Christ? Follow Christ. So y'all believe in Christ. All right. Do y'all believe in baptism? Y'all believe in the baptism of the Bible? All right. So how do you get baptized? Let me ask you that. Let me introduce myself. My name is Minister Moore. Minister. So you're a minister of this church right here? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm a minister, yeah, but I'm a of minister, another church. I'm a minister of music. Okay. I'm doing a concert here. This All right. right here. What's your name? My name is Bob. Bob. Or, or, Bob. You, or you can call me Piano Man. One or two. Brother Bob. I'll call you Brother, Brother Bob. Bob. Yeah. Good to meet you. I'm Yesh. How you doing? Uh, Brother Yesh. All right. Yeah. We come over here so we can move for a car, but I, we, we love what y'all are doing. Okay. Good, good, good. Let me ask you a question, Brother Bob. How do you love God according to the Bible? Give me that. How do I love God? How do you love God? Because that, that church, you just y'all just got up, right? Right. So... No, I'm, I'm, no, I'm going to move a car. I got to go back over there. Oh, you going back over there? <laughs> yeah, I got to go back. All right. So, how long have you been uh, congregating with with this well, church over here? This is my first time. First time? Yeah. All right. So, are you a Christian? Yes, do you, I am. Okay. So, as a Christian, how do you love God? Let me ask you that. How do I love God? How do you love God? Oh, love what does it take to love God? Anybody? Your whole heart. Your whole heart. Your, your whole heart. All right. Anybody else? Confess. Your whole heart. Confess your sins. Confess your All right. Sin. Let's let's see what the Bible says about loving God. Go ahead, read. The book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. Uh -huh. For this is the love of God. So this right here, this is the love of God. Right. Read on. That we keep his commandments. That we do what? That we keep his commandments. Right. So how do you love God? Right. My, my, my brother and my sisters right here. By keeping, By keeping his commandments. All right. So which, which commandments shall we keep? All of them. All of them. All of them. How many commandments are there? Twelve. 12? There's only 12 commandments? Uh, 12. I think there's 12. I, I, I think you're, you're meaning to say 10, right? You're okay. meaning to say 10. Yeah, 10. But 10, what 10, a lot of people don't understand, sis, I'm, I'm dealing with you, I'm dealing with you. Yeah. A lot of people, they don't understand that the 10 is just an umbrella for more than 600 commandments. Right. right. You understand? So, uh, thou should not rape. Somebody rapes another. Which commandment are you breaking? Um, thou not, uh, commit adultery. That's it right there. Right, so there's more than 10 commandments. Yeah. So God says in order for you to right. get the kingdom of heaven, you have to do what? Keep all of the commandments, all of them. Now we're going to get you, we're going to get y'all a commandment specifically for the woman. Give me that. Deuteronomy chapter 22. Right, so how do you love God again? I love God. With your whole okay. heart. Right, and, and what specifically? Remember the With verse? The Ten Commandments. Keep the, keep the keep the commandments. commandments. All right. So let's let's bring out another commandment that you can keep in order to love God. Read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-two and verse five. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So this is a commandment for the woman. God says the woman shall not what wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So this is a commandment for the woman. God says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth to a man. What does that mean? Pants. Pants. That was something. That's pants. See? Right. Yeah, look, this is his order right now. Right. So remember, how do you love God? Uh, with your with the Ten Commandments. With keeping okay. the commandments. Keeping the commandments. Right. So we have to keep the commandments in order to love God. We just got a commandment for the woman. You should not put on what? So how are you going to love God now that you know that? Uh, I'm going to wear a dress. You're going to wear a dress. Oh, yeah. hey, hey, give it up for that sister, man. All praises to the most. Uh, that sister says she's going to wear a dress. But you know what that means, sis? That means you can no longer wear pants. You can no longer wear pants because that is a commandment for the woman. Right. But guess what? There's also a commandment for the man. Read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So God says, women can't wear pants and men cannot wear what? A dress. A dress. Right. A skirt. Right. Right. Feminine uh, yeah. apparel. Right. God says, that's, that's, that's something strange. That is sin. God says that's sin. Right. But in this society, in, in America, 
We see that all the time, right? Right. We see a lot of women wearing pants, and we see a lot of men wearing dresses and skirts. So let's ask the question now. Is God okay with that? Hold that. Give me a, a Isaiah 5. Huh? Say it again. You can, you, right, because it starts in your mind. Right? It starts because we just got the scriptures. Before you can change anything, you have to change in your mind first. You have, that's why the scriptures say, with thy uh, uh, getting, get understanding. Right? So you have to change in your mind. You have to understand that, hey, I can't put on pants anymore if I'm a woman. I can't wear a dress anymore if I'm a man. That's a commandment of God. In order for me to love God, I have to keep his commandments. If I break his commandments, I won't get the kingdom. I'm not going to get that. You, you said what? That's right. Right, but it starts with you as an individual, sis. Right, we know, we understand. God understands that, you know, you're you're living in a society that promotes sin every single day, at almost every moment. Right. When you flip on that TV, right, all you see is sin. Women wearing pants, uh, uh, people eating pork. God says you ain't supposed to eat pork either. Y'all eat pork? Not ever. It don't matter if you don't like it. Sometimes God says, don't ever eat it. Right. God says, don't ever do it. Let's get that. Hold on. Uh, yeah. God says, we're not supposed to be eating pork either. So if you, you truly love God, what are you going to stop eating? That's it right there. This, that's just the owner, man. They, these sisters on it. All praise to the most high. Go ahead and read that. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. Uh -huh. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and the swine, what's that talking about? What category of food? What do we call that today? In the swine. Pig. That in the pig, right? The pig, the pork. Read on. And be cloven footed. Uh -huh. Yet he chooth not the cut. Uh -huh. He is unclean unto you. He is what? Unclean to you. He is unclean to us. Right? He's unclean to you, sisters, right here. We're not supposed to be consuming that unclean animal. That is an abomination to God. Right? Right? That is that is disgusting. That is a disgusting deed to God. Just like a woman wearing pants, just like a man wearing a dress, all of those things are abomination to the Lord. They are abominable, disgusting. God looks at us when we do those things and says to him, ugh. They doing, uh, why they still doing that garbage? I'm, I told them directly through my word not to eat pork. I told them women not to put on pants, but they still doing it. But they claim they love me. They, they, they up in these buildings that they call churches filled with women with wearing pants. Filled with people planning, planning on eating pork right after that service. Right after service lets out, some of us in here is going straight home to cook that pork. God says, ill. God says he ain't with that. God says they think they love me, but they really don't. Right. Give me a, uh, where we at? Uh, give me a, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and read it. The book of Isaiah, chapter 5 and verse 20. Uh -huh. Woe unto them that call evil good uh -huh. and good evil. Y'all hear that? God says, whoa, what does whoa mean, y'all? Y'all some spiritual sisters. What does whoa mean? Um, I guess he's grabbing your attention. Or holding yeah, he's definitely grabbing your attention with this. That's that's true. But the definition of the word whoa means destruction. Right. So read it again. Woe unto them. Destruction unto them. Read on. That call evil good. That call evil good. So what's, what's one of those evils that we recently just went over? Right? That's it. Woe or destruction to them that call evil good, that say, hey, we can wear these pants. We're, we're living in a, a modern day time. God is up in the heaven. He, he understands my heart. God says destruction to them. Read on. And woe unto them that call evil good. That call and, evil good. Read and on. good evil. And good evil. Destruction to them that don't keep my commandments. That's what he's going into. Nation is 
men leading by example. 